Hello everyone. Welcome to Little Minds at Work. DIY. I'm here to discuss a very important topic related to phonics. Um, I have been sharing a lot of hands-on uh, phonic related activities recently for multiple languages and I have received a couple of queries um, about how do we remember or how do how did I teach a short and long vowels to my little one. So I'm just going to share uh, our little trick that helped us remember our short and long vowels and made reading um, a lot more easier. Uh, before I begin, I want to share a very short, a very brief overview of why I made this method. When I look at the vowels, and when I was looking at the short vowel sounds and long vowel sounds, I just noticed. So it's as in we know, English is a funny language. Uh, it has like alphabet sounds as well as the phonic sounds. So when you look closely, you would be able to see that short vowel sounds are the phonic sounds, whereas the long vowel sounds are the alphabet sounds itself. So it's like you read the short vowels when you're alone. You just you just be what you want. You just sound like whatever you want to sound. Whereas the long vowel sounds, whenever you're lost in a group, you want to protect your identity. You want to say it out loud, the alphabet sound itself. So you read it as its own alphabet, like A, E, I, O, U. Whereas when you're alone, you can literally sound stupid and sound whatever. So you sound all the phonic sounds. Like A says E, eh, E says E, eh, I says E, O says O, U says A. Uh. So my little one, and I'm sure most of your little ones, loves friends. They don't like uh, being at home. Um, and they are always looking forward to mingling with friends. Same is with my little one. Uh, he loves playing with friends. So over here, as you can see, I have two columns. Uh, one is for short vowels, one is for long vowels. So the first vowel, A. A can be read as a short vowel or long vowel. So when we take up A, I explained that just imagine if you're alone, if you don't have anyone to play with, if you're at your home playing independently and if you don't have anyone to play with, you would sound low. So a short vowel would sound eh. So short A says eh. And we put a. Eh. You're still happy. So we give you a smile, but it's just a little smile because you're playing alone and you sound a. Eh. But if you are with your friends, if you are playing with your friends, you are way too excited. So your smile just broadens up and you say loudly, you try to, you're so excited to say it loud. A. So long, A says A. Once again, short A would say A. Long A would say A. Let's see a word here. So if we see, And try to put our short A here. So you would say B at bat. Whereas over here, if I use the word A, H, H, L, E. So this A has a friend here. Do you see that? It's E, so there are two vowels in this word. So they have a friend. So this A is talking loud. It's He's way too excited. So it goes like, A, eh, apple. And that's how I explained A. Moving on to the next vowel, E. 
So, short E. Short E. When you're alone, what does it say? So, short E says, eh. Long E. Excited. E says, reads its own alphabet. E. So, that's one way to say it. Short A reads its phonic. Eh. Short E reads the phonic sound. Eh. Long A is excited and happy. And they say A, alphabet sound, A. Long E, again, reads the alphabet sound, E. So again, let's take a word for eh and E. So over here, let's try. W eh, st, west. So it has, it's alone here, just one wall. Over here, let's try. It has a friend here. E, w, e. These are the walls. Two walls in the same word. So this goes E, alphabet sound E. Next, let's see I. So short I says E. Short I says E. Long I is long and excited. Long I is loud and excited. It says I. So again, let's try the word here. So for short, we can try. It's alone here. So it says phonic sound. I. E, the bid. Let's try this one. It's not alone. It has a friend. Eh is the friend here. So it sounds b i k bike. So short i is the phonic sound e. Long i is the alphabet sound. I. Next is O. Short O sounds A. Long O is the alphabet sound O. So let's try a word with short and long O. So let's see. Og, dog, aw, dog. With this one, we can try. Again, O is not alone here. It has a friend, so it becomes excited and it sounds, it's an alphabet sound, O. So, bro, o -k brook, no. A g dog, br o g brook. Next, let's try you. Short u sounds a. Uh. Long u sounds u. A uh, u. Let's make a word. That's the short U. So it sounds S, A, uh, N, Sun. For a long one, we could take. It has a friend here. So it becomes K, U, T, cute. So once again, short U sounds A, uh, long U sounds U. 
once they are done with their sounds, what I try to do is a little activity. Let's see. I have this little spindle box here. I like to, I use it for a number spindle box. It's a Montessori thing. Of course, this is like a DIY, much more cheaper and convenient way uh, to teach it. I try to use this spindle box as a wall spindle box. So what I do is I have a little cutouts here. And if I'm starting with A, I have these cutouts here. If you can see, I just wrote it down and I taped it to make it laminated and more sturdier. So what I'm going to do is put it right here. So if you can see, I have a short A here and a long A here. Then I have couple, then I have a couple of words here. So if I have this one, the little one has to read it, t e k take and put it, where does it belong? It has two vowels, so it has its friends with it, so it's excited. So let's put it for the long A. So it goes in this, over here, I have another word. It says sp anchor spank. It has only one wall. It's a short A. It doesn't have friends to play with right now. So it becomes a sp anchor spank. You put it right in the short A. So similarly, I have the long O. The short O, you can put it right here and they can put the words inside. So it's a very fun activity. I hope you guys like it. Very easy to remember short and long vowels. When we're talking about vowels, before, before I really wrap up, I would like to share a, another very simple uh, point, but very important. So other way, what I have told my kid when there are two vowels walking together, both of them cannot talk at the same time. So if there are like two vowels in one word, like if you can see the word here, r, a, k, e, a and e are two vowels in this word. But when they're walking together, only one can talk. So when a is talking, e, is the silent one. So this is read like rake because I got a I got I got the question a lot of times from my little one in words like like or rake, glide, smoke. Why why don't we read eh? Why don't we use this sound? So this is something that helps when two walls are walking. Only one talks and one walks. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. If you like it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for more of such learning videos. Uh, do let me know in the comment section below. If you want me to cover any topic, I would be more than happy to work on that topic and see what we have done about that. Uh, thank you so much for watching.